Nothing to be done. I'm beginning to come round to that opinion. All my life I've tried to put it from me, saying, Vladimir, be reasonable. You haven't yet tried everything. And I resumed the struggle. So, there you are again. How am I? I'm glad to see you back. I thought you were gone forever. Me too. Together again at last. We'll have to celebrate this. But how? Get up till I embrace you. Not now, not now. May one inquire where His Highness spent the night? In the ditch. A ditch? Where? Over there. And they didn't beat you? Beat me. Certainly they beat me. The same lot as usual? The same, I don't know. When I think of it, all these years, but for me, where would you be? You'd be nothing more than a little heap of bones at the present minute, no doubt about it. What of it? That's too much for one man. On the other hand, what's the good of losing heart? Now, that's what I say. We should have thought of it a million years ago, when the world was young. Stop bladdering and help me off with this bloody thing. Hand in hand, from the top of the Eiffel Tower, among the first. <laughs> we were presentable in those days. Now it's too late. They wouldn't even let us up. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> Taking off my boot. Did that never happen to you? Boots must be taken off every day. I'm tired telling you that. Why don't you listen to me? Help me. It hurts. Hurts. He wants to know if it hurts. No one ever suffers but you. I don't count. I'd like to hear what you'd say if you had what I have. It hurts. Hurts. He wants to know if it hurts. You might button it all the same. True. Never neglect the little things of life. And what do you expect? You always wait until the last moment. The last moment? Hope deferred. Make it the something sick. Who said that? Why don't you help me? Sometimes I feel it coming all the same. Then I go all queer. How shall I say? Relieved and at the same time... Appalled. Appalled. Funny. But nothing to be done. Well? Nothing. Show. There's nothing to show. But try and put it on again. I'll air it for a bit. There's man all over for you, blaming on his boots the fault of his feet. <laughs> this is getting alarming. One of the thieves was saved. It's a reasonable percentage. Go, go. What? Suppose we repented. Repented what? Oh, we wouldn't have to go to the details. Our being born. <laughs> yeah, one daren't even laugh anymore. Oh, dreadful provision. Merely smile. Yeah, it's not the same thing. Nothing to be done. Go, go. What is it? Do you ever read the Bible? The Bible? Yeah, I must have taken a look at it. Do you remember the Gospels? I remember the maps of the Holy Land. Colour they were. Very pretty. The Dead Sea was pale blue. The very look of it made me thirsty. That's where we'll go, I used to say. That's where we'll go for our honeymoon. We'll swim. We'll be happy. You should have been a poet. I was. Isn't that obvious? Where was I? How's your foot? Swelling visibly. Ah, yes. Two thieves. Do you remember the story? No. Shall I tell it to you? No. It'll pass the time. Two thieves crucified at the same time as our saviour. Our One, what? Our saviour. Two thieves. One is supposed to have been saved, and the other... damned. Saved from what? Hell. I'm going. And yet, how is it... Now, this is not boring you, I hope. How is it that of the four evangelists, only one speaks of a thief being saved? The four of them were there. <laughs> or thereabouts. And only one speaks of a thief being saved. Come on, Gogo. Return the ball, can't you, once in a way? I find this really most extraordinarily interesting. One out of four. Of the other three, two don't mention any thieves at all, and the third says that both of them abused him. Who? What? What's all this about? Abused him? The saviour. Why? Because he wouldn't save them. From hell. Imbecile. From death. From what of it? Then the two of them must have been damned. And why not? But one of the four says that one of the two was saved. They don't agree, that's all. There's two it. But all four were there, and only one speaks of a thief being saved. Why believe him rather than the others? Who believes him? Everybody. It's the only version they know. Oh, people are bloody ignorant apes.
Charming spot. Inspiring prospects. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Gatto. Oh, yes. You're sure it was here? What? That we were to wait. He said by the tree. Do you see any others? What is it? I don't know. A willow. And where are the leaves? It must be dead. No more weeping? Or perhaps it's not the season. Looks to me more like a bush. A shrub. A bush. A sh what are you insinuating? That we've come to the wrong place? He should be here. He didn't say for sure he'd come. And if he doesn't come? We'll come back tomorrow. And the day after tomorrow? Possibly. And so what? The point Until is... he come. You're merciless! We came here yesterday. Ah, no. There, you're mistaken. And what did we do yesterday? What did we do yesterday? Yes. Why... Nothing is certain when you're about. In my opinion, we were here. You recognize the place? I didn't say that. Well? That makes no difference. All the same. A tree. That stone. Bog. You're sure it was this evening? What? That we were to wait. He said Saturday. I think. You think? Well, I must have made a note of it. But what Saturday? And is it Saturday? Is it rather not Sunday? Or Monday? Or Friday? It's not possible. Or Thursday? But what'll we do? If he came here yesterday and we weren't here, you may be sure he won't come back again today. But you say we were here yesterday. I may have been mistaken. Let's stop talking for a minute. Do you mind? All right. <sighs> go, go. Go, go. Go, go. I was asleep. Why will you never let me sleep? I felt lonely. I had a dream. But oh, don't tell me. I dreamt. Don't tell me. This one is enough for you. It's not nice of you, Dee Dee. Who am I to tell me? Private nightmares, too, if I can't tell them to you. Let them remain private. You know I can't bear that. Oh, I sometimes wonder if it wouldn't be better for us to part. Yeah, you wouldn't go far. That'd be too bad, wouldn't it, Dee Dee? Be really too bad when you think of the beauty of the way and the goodness of the way, fairness, wouldn't it, Dee Dee? Calm yourself. Calm. Calm. The English say, calm. Do you know the story of the Englishman and the brothel? Yes. Tell it to me. Ah, stop it. An Englishman, having drunk a little more than usual, proceeds to a brothel. The bod asks him if he wants a dark one, a fair one, or a red-haired one. Go on, stop it! something to say to me? Dee Dee. I've nothing to say to you. You're angry. Forgive me. Come, Dee Dee. Give me your hand. Embrace me. Don't be stubborn. Stink of garlic. It's for the kidneys. What do we do now? Wait? Yes, but while waiting. How about hanging ourselves? Mmm. It might give us an erection. An erection? With all that follows. Where it falls, mandrakes grow. That's where they shriek when you pull them up. Did you not know that? Let's hang ourselves immediately. From a bow. 
I wouldn't trust it. We can always try. Well, go ahead. Oh, after you. No, no, you first. Why me? You're lighter than I am. Just so. I don't understand. Use your intelligence, can't you? I remain in the dark. This is how it is. The bow. The bow! Use your head, can't you? You're my only hope. Go, go light. Bow, not break. Go, go dead. Deedy heavy. Bow, break. Deedy alone. Whereas... I haven't thought of that. If it hangs you, it'll hang anything. But am I heavier than you? Well, I don't know. You tell me. There's an even chance. Or nearly. Well, what do we do? Ah, don't let's do anything. It's safer. Let's wait and see what he says. Who? Gone. Ah, yes. Let's wait till we know exactly how we stand. On the other hand, it might be better to strike the iron before it freezes. Well, I'm curious to hear what he has to offer. Then we take it or leave it. What exactly did we ask him for? Were you not there? I can't have been listening. Oh, nothing very definite. A kind of prayer. Precisely. A vague supplication. Exactly. And what did he reply? That he'd see. That he couldn't promise anything. That he'd have to think it over. In the quiet of his home. Consult his family. His friends. His agents. His correspondence. His books. His bank account. Before taking a decision. It's the normal thing. Is it not? I think it is. I think so too. And we. I beg your pardon? I said, and we. I don't understand. Where do we come in? Come in? Oh, take your time. Come in? On our hands and knees? As bad as that. Your worship wishes to assert his prerogatives? We've no rights anymore. <laughs> well, you'd make me laugh if it wasn't prohibited. We've lost our rights. We got rid of them. We're not tied. We're... Listen. Not... I hear nothing. Psst. Nor I. Gave me a fright. I thought it was he. Who? God, oh. Eh, the wind and the reeds. I could have sworn I heard shouts. And why would he shout? At his horse. Let's go. Where? Perhaps we'll sleep tonight in his loft. All snug and dry. Our bellies full in the hay. That's worth waiting for. No? Not all night. It's still day. I'm hungry. Do you want a carrot? Is that all there is? I might have some turnips. Now oh, give me a carrot. That's a torn up. Oh, pardon. I could have sworn it was a carrot. Oh, that's turnips. You must have eaten the last. Wait. I have it. There, dear fellow. Give me the turnip. Make it last. That's the end of them. I asked you a question. Ah. Did you reply? How's the carrot? It's a carrot. Oh, so much the better. So much the better. Well, what was it you wanted to know? I've forgotten. That's what annoys me. I'll never forget this carrot. Oh, yes, now I remember. Well? We're not hurt. I don't hear a word you're saying. I'm asking you if we're tied. Tied? Tie Ed. How do you mean tied? Down. But to whom? By whom? To your man. To Gatto. Tied to Gatto. What an idea. No question of it. For the moment. His name is Gatto. I think so. Oh, uh, yes. <sniffs> Funny the more you eat, the worse it gets. Yeah, with me, it's just the opposite. In other words? I get used to the muck as I go along. It's not the opposite. Question of temperament. Of character. Nothing you can do about it. No use struggling. One is what one is. No use wriggling. The essential doesn't change. Nothing to be done. Would you like to finish it? Oh. Back. 
me go. Stay where you are. Be careful. He's wicked. With strangers. Is that him? Who? Eh. Uh, Goddo? Yeah. I present myself. What so? Not at all. He said Goddo. Not at all. You're, eh. Uh, you're not Mr. Goddo, sir? I am Pozzo. Does that name mean nothing to you? I say, does that name mean nothing to you? Pozzo. 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 Pozzo! Ah, Pozzo! Uh, let me see. Pozzo. Is it Pozzo or Bozzo? Pozzo. No, I'm afraid I, I don't seem to Only be able to... I went to a family called Gozzo. The mother had a clap. We're not from these parts, sir. You are human beings, nonetheless. As far as one can see, of the same species as myself. <laughs> of the same species as Pozzo. Made in God's image. Well, you see... Who's Goddo? Goddo? You took me for Goddo. Oh, no, sir. Not for an instant, sir. Who is he? Oh, he's a... He's a kind of acquaintance. Nothing of the kind we hardly know him. True, we don't know him very well, but Personally, all the same. I don't know myself if I saw him. You took me for him. I mean, ah, well, that's to say, you see, the, the dusk, the strain, waiting. I confess. I imagined for a second. Waiting? So you were waiting for him? Well, you see... Here, on my land. We didn't intend any harm. We meant well. The road is free to all. Well, that's how we looked at it. It's a disgrace. But there you are. Nothing we can do about it. Let's say no more about it. Up, pig! Every time he drops, he falls asleep. Up, hog! Stop. Turn. Gentlemen, I am happy to have met you. Yes, yes, sincerely happy. Closer. Stop. The road seems long when one journeys all alone for... Yes. Yes, six hours, that's right. Six hours on end and never a soul in sight. Good. Hold that. Touch of autumn in the air this evening. Whip. Yes, gentlemen. I cannot go for long without the society of my likes. Even when the likeness is an imperfect one. Stool. Closer. Back. Further. Stop. That is why, with your permission, I propose to dally with you a moment before I venture any further. Basket. The fresh air stimulates the jaded appetite. Basket.
further. He stinks. Happy days. What ails him? He looks tired. And why doesn't he put down his bags? How do I know? Careful. Say something to him. Look. What? His neck. Oh, I say. A running sore. It's the rope. The rubbing. It's inevitable or not. It's the chafing. He's not bad looking. Would you say so? A try for the feminine. Look at the slobber. It's inevitable. Look at the slaver. Perhaps he's a half-wit. A cretin. Looks like a goiter. It's not certain. He's panting. It's inevitable. And his eyes. What about him? Goggling out of his head. Huh? He looks at his last gasp to me. It's not certain. Ask him a question. Would that be a good thing? Well, what do we risk? Mister. Louder. Mister! Leave him in peace. Can't you see he wants to rest? Ask it. Basket. Please, sir. What is it, my good man? Are you finished with the... You won't be needing the bone, sir. You couldn't have waited. No, no. He does well to ask. Do I need the bones? No. Personally, I do not need them anymore. But... But in theory, the bones go to the carrier. He is therefore the one to ask. Go on, go on, don't be afraid. Ask him, he'll tell you. Mister. Excuse me, mister. You're being spoken to, pig. Reply. Try him again. Excuse me, mister. The bones. You won't be needing the bones. <laughs> mister. <laughs> Reply, pig. Do you want them or don't you? Yours. I don't like it. I've never known him to refuse a bone before. Nice business it'd be if he fell sick on me. It's a scandal! Are you alluding to anything in particular? To treat a man like that, I think that. No, a human being. No, it's a scandal! A disgrace. You are severe. What age are you, if it's not a rude question? Sixty? Seventy? What age would you say he was? Eleven. I am impertinent. I must be getting on. <laughs> Thank you for your society. Unless I smoke another pipe before I go. What do you say? Oh, I'm only a small smoker. A very small smoker. It makes my heart go pit-a-pat. It's the nicotine. One absorbs it in spite of one's precautions. You know how it is. But perhaps you don't smoke? Yes? No? It's of no importance. But how am I to sit down? Now, without affectation, now that I have risen, without appearing to, how shall I say, without appearing to falter? I beg your pardon. Perhaps you didn't speak. It's of no importance. See. Oh, that's better. Let's go. So soon. One moment. Stool. More. There. 
Stop it! Let's go! I hope I'm not driving you away. Wait a little longer. You'll never regret it. Oh, we're in no hurry. And the second is never so sweet. It was the first, that is. But it's sweet just the same. I'm going. Suppose you go now while it is still day. For there is no denying. It is still day. Good. What happens in that case to your appointment with this Godet? Godot. Godin, anyhow, you see who I mean. Who has your future in his hands. At least your immediate future. Who told you? He speaks to me again. If this goes on much longer, we shall soon be old friends. Why doesn't he put down the spikes? I too should be happy to meet him. The more people I meet, the happier I become. From the meanest creature one departs, richer, wiser, and more conscious of one's blessings. Even you. Who knows, even you would have added to my store. Why doesn't he put down his bags? Well, that would surprise me. You've been asked a question. A question? Who? What? A moment ago, you were calling me sir in fear and trembling. Now you're asking me questions. No good will come of this. I think he's listening. What? You can ask him now. He's on the alert. Ask him what? Why he doesn't put down his bags. I wonder. Ask him, can't you? You want to know why he doesn't put down his bags, as you call them? That's it. You are sure you agree with that? He's puffing like a grampus. The answer is this. But be still, I beg of you. You're making me nervous. Here, oh, he's about to speak. Is everybody ready? Is everybody looking at me? Will you look at me, pig? Good. I am ready. Is everybody listening? Hog! Is everybody ready? I don't like talking in a vacuum. You see, I'm gone. What was it exactly you wanted to know? Why Don't he doesn't put interrupt down... me. If we all speak at once, we shall never get anywhere. What was I saying? What was I saying? Bags. Why? Always hold. Never put down. Why? Ah, why couldn't you say so before? Why he doesn't make himself comfortable? <laughs> Let's try and get this clear. Has he not the right to? Certainly he has. It follows that he doesn't want to. There's reasoning for you. And why doesn't he want to? The reason is this. Make a note of this. He wants to impress me so that I'll keep him. What? Hmm. Perhaps I haven't got it quite right. He wants to mollify me so I give up the idea of parting with him. No, that's not exactly it either. You want to get rid of him? He wants to cod me, but he won't. You want to get rid of him? He imagines that when I see how well he carries, I'll be tempted to keep him on in that capacity. You've had enough of him. In reality, he carries like a pig. It's not his job. You want to get rid of him? He imagines that when I see him indefatigable, I'll regret my decision. Such is his miserable scheme. As though I were short of slaves. Atlas, son of Japetos. Well, that's that, I think. Anything else? You want to get rid of him? Remark that I might just as well have been in his shoes and he in mine, had chance not willed otherwise. To each one his due. You want to get rid of him? I beg your pardon. You want to get rid of him? I do. But instead of driving him away as I might have done, I mean instead of simply kicking him out on his ass, in the goodness of my heart, I am bringing him to the fair, where I hope to get a good price for him. The truth is, you can't drive such creatures away. The best thing would be to kill them. Ah, he's crying. Old dogs have more dignity. Comfort him. Since you pity him. Come on. Wipe away his tears. He'll feel less forsaken. Here, give it to me. I'll do it. We'll make haste before he stops. Oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> Thank you. He's gripping me. Go. 
I told you he didn't like strangers. He's bleeding. <laughs> it's a good sign. He has stopped crying. You have replaced him, as it were. The tears of the world are a constant quantity. But each one who starts to weep somewhere else, another stops. The same is true of the laugh. <laughs> Let us not then speak ill of our generation. It is not any unhappier than its predecessors. Let us not speak well of it either. Let us not speak of it at all. It is true. The population has increased. Will night never come? Guess who taught me all these beautiful things? My lucky. But for him, all my thoughts, all my feelings would have been of common things. Professional worries, beauty, grace, truth of the first water. I knew they were beyond me. So, I took a canook. A canook? That was nearly 60 years ago. Yes, nearly 60. <laughs> you wouldn't think it to look at me, would you? Compared to him. I look like a young man. No? Hat! Now look. Well, did you see? And now you turn him away. Such an old and faithful servant. Swine. After having sucked all the good out of him, you chuck him away like a, like a banana skin. Really. I can't bear it. Any longer. The way he goes on. You've no idea. It's terrible. I'm going mad. You must go. I can't bear it any longer. <laughs> Any longer? He's going mad. It's terrible. How dare you? It's abominable. Such a good master, crucify him like that after so many years, really. He used to be so kind, so helpful and entertaining. My good angel, and now he's killing me. Does he want to replace him? I don't know. Ask him. Gentlemen, I don't know what came over me. Forgive me. Forget all that I said. I don't remember exactly what it was. But you may be sure there wasn't a word of truth in it. Do I look like a man who can be made to suffer? Frankly. What have I done with my pipe? Charming evening we're having. Unforgettable. And it's not over. Apparently not. It's only beginning. It's awful. Worse than the pantomime. The circus. The musical. The circus. What have I done with that briar? <laughs> He's a scream. He's lost his duty. I'll be back. And the corridor on the left. Keep my seat. I've lost my cap and Peterson. <laughs> you need a pet of me. You didn't buy any... Oh, he's gone. And without even saying goodbye, how could he? He might have waited. He would have burst. Oh, oh well, in that case. Come here. What? You'll see. You want me to get up? Quick! <laughs> Look! Oh, I see. Ah, it's all over. He's not pleased. You missed the treat. Pity. He subsides. Indeed. All subsides. The great calm descends. Listen. Pan sleeps. Will night never come? You don't feel like going till it does. Oh, will you well, it's that? very natural. Very natural. I myself, in your situation, if I had an appointment with a goddamn. Godé. Godo. Anyhow, you see who I mean. I should wait until it was black night before I gave up. I 
I should very much like to sit down. But I'm not quite sure how to go about it. Could I be of any help? If you ask me, perhaps. What? If you ask me to sit. Would that be a help? I fancy so. Oh, well, here we go. Be seated, sir. I beg of you. No, no, I wouldn't dream of it. Ask me again. Come, come, take a seat. I beseech you. You'll catch pneumonia. You really think so? It's absolutely certain. No doubt you are right. Thank you, dear fellow. Done it again. But I must be getting on if I'm to observe my schedule. Time has stopped. Don't you believe it, sir? Don't you believe it? Whatever you like. But not that. Everything seems black to him today. Except the firmament. <laughs> oh, but I see what it is. You are not from these parts. You don't know what our twilights can do. Shall I tell you? I can't refuse you. <coughs> Where was I? Let's go. Ah, yes, the night. Look. Will you look at the sky, pig? Good, that's enough. What is there so extraordinary about it? Qua sky. It is pale and luminous, it, like any sky at this hour of the day. At this time of the year, in these latitudes, when the weather is fine. An hour ago, roughly, after having poured forth ever since say, 10 o'clock in the morning, tirelessly torrents of red and white light. It begins to lose its effulgence, to grow pale, pale, ever a little paler, a little paler, until... Finish. But behind this veil of gentleness and peace, night is charging and will burst upon us. Uh, um, uh, the pop! Like that! Just when you least expect it! And that's how it is on this bitch of an earth! So long as one knows. One can bide one's time. One knows what to expect. No further need to worry. Simply wait. We're used to it. Gentlemen, how did you find me? Good? Fair? Middling? Poor? Positively bad? Oh, very good. Very, very good. And you, sir? Oh, tray bomb. Tray, tray, tray bomb. Bless you, gentlemen. Bless you. I have such need of encouragement. I, I weakened a little but towards the end. You, you didn't notice? Oh, perhaps just a teeny-weeny little bit. I thought it was intentional. You see, my memory is defective. In the meantime, nothing happens. You find that tedious? Somewhat. And you, sir? I've been better entertained. Gentlemen, you have been civil to me. Not, not at all. What an idea. Yes, yes. You have been correct. So that I ask myself, is there anything I can do in my turn for these honest fellows who are having such a dull, dull, Time. Even 50 pence would be a help. We are not beggars. Is there anything I can do? That's what I ask myself. To cheer them up. I have given them bones, it is true. I have talked to them of this and that. I have explained the twilight, admittedly, but is it enough? That's what tortures me. Is it enough? Even 25? That's enough. I couldn't accept less. Is it enough? No doubt. But I am liberal. It's my nature. This evening... So much the worse for me. For I shall suffer. No 
doubt about that. What do you prefer? Shall we have him dance? Or sing? Or recite? Or think? Who? Or who? You know how to think, you two. He thinks? Certainly, aloud. He even used to think very prettily once. I could listen to him for hours. Now, so much the worse for me. Well, shall we have him think something for us? I'd rather he dance, and it'd be more fun. Not necessarily. Wouldn't it, Edie? Be more fun. I'd like well to hear him think. Perhaps he could dance first and think afterwards, if it's not too much to ask him. Would that be possible? By all means. Nothing simpler. It's the natural order. Then let him dance. You hear, Hog? He never refuses? He refused. Once. Dance, misery. At all. Encore. <laughs> I could do as well myself. <laughs> With a little practice. He's tired. He used to dance the farandole, the fling, the brawl, the jig, the fandango, even the hornpipe. He capered for joy. No, that's the best he can do. Do you know what he calls it? The scapegoat's agony. The hard stool. The net. He thinks he's entangled in a net. <sighs> Nobody comes. Nobody goes. It's awful. Tell him to think. Give him his hat. His hat? He can't think without his hat. Give him his hat. Me? After what he did to me? Never. I'll give it to him. Tell him to fetch it. It's better to give it to him. I'll give it to him. He must put it on his head. Tell him to take it. It's better to put it on his head. I'll put it on his head. Well, what's he waiting for? Stand back. Think, pig. Stop! Forward. Stop. Think. On the other hand, with regard to... Stop. Back. Stop. Think. Given the existence as uttered forth in the public works of Puncher and Watman of a personal god, qua 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 qua, with white beard, qua 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 qua, outside time, without extension, who from the heights of divine apathia, divine athambia, divine aphasia, loves us dearly with some exceptions, for reasons unknown, but time will tell, and suffers like the divine Miranda with those who, for reasons unknown, but time will tell, are plunged in torment, plunged in fire, whose fire flames, if that continues, and who can doubt it, will fire the firmament, that is to say, blast hell to heaven. So blue, Still and calm, so calm with a calm which, even though intermittent, is better than nothing, but not so fast. And considering what is more, that as a result of the labors left unfinished, crowned by the Academy of Anthropopometry of Essie and Posse of Testu and Cunard, it is established beyond all doubt, all other doubt than that which clings to the labors of men, that as a result of the labors unfinished of Testu and Cunard, it is established as herein after, but not so fast, for reasons unknown, that as a result of the public works of Puncher and Watman, it is established beyond all doubt, that in view of the labors of 
Fartov and Belcher left unfinished for reasons unknown, of Testu and Cunard left unfinished. It is established what many deny, that man and posse of Testu and Cunard, that man and Essie, that man and Short, that man and Brief, in spite of the strides of alimentation and defecation, is seen to waste and pine. Waste and pine, and concurrently, simultaneously, what is more for reasons unknown, in spite of the strides of physical culture, the practice of sports such as tennis, football, running, cycling, swimming, flying, floating, riding, gliding, conating, camogie, skating, tennis of all kinds, dying, flying, sports of all sorts, autumn, summer, winter, winter, tennis of all kinds, hockey of all sorts, penicillin and succedania, in a word, I resume, and concurrently, simultaneously, for reasons unknown, to shrink and dwindle. In spite of the tennis, I resume flying, gliding, golf over nine and eighteen holes, tennis of all sorts, in a word, for reasons unknown, in Thackham, Packham, Fulham, Clapham, namely concurrently, simultaneously, what is more for reasons unknown, but time will tell, to shrink and dwindle. I resume Fulham, Clapham, in a word, the dead loss per capita since the death of Bishop Barclay, being to the tune of one inch, four rounds per capita, approximately, by and large, more or less, to the nearest decimal good measure, round figures, dark naked in the stocking, feet in Connemara, in a word, for reasons unknown, no matter what matter, the facts are there. And considering what is more, much more grave, that in the light of the labors lost of Steinweg and Peterman, it appears what is more, much more grave, that in the light, the light, the light of the labors lost of Steinweg and Peterman, that in the plains, in the mountains, by the seas, by the rivers, running water, running fire, the air is the same, and then the earth, namely the air, and then the earth, and the great cold, the great dark, the air and the earth, abode of stones, and the great cold, alas, alas, in the year of the Lord, six hundred and something, the air, the earth, the sea, the earth, abode of stones, and the great cold, the great deeps on sea, on land, and in the air, I resume, for reasons unknown, in spite of the tennis, the facts are there, but time will tell. I resume, alas, alas, on, on, in short, in fine, on, on, the boat of stones, who can doubt it? I resume, but not so fast, I resume, the skull to shrink and waste, and concurrently, simultaneously, what is more for reasons unknown, in spite of the tennis, on, on, the beard, the flames, the tears, the stones, oh, blues, oh, come, alas, alas, on, on, the skull, the skull, the skull, the skull in Connemara, in spite of the tennis, the labours abandoned, left unfinished, grave are still the boat of stones, in a word, I resume, alas, alas, abandoned, unfinished, the skull, the skull in Connemara, in spite of the tennis, the skull, alas, the stones, Cunard, tennis, the stones, the stones, Cunard, I'm finished! Avenged! Give me that! There's an end to his thinking. Well, will he be able to orientate himself? I'll orientate him. <laughs> Up, pig! Perhaps he's dead. You'll kill him! Up, scum! Help me! How? Raise him up! He's doing it on purpose! You must hold him. Come on, come on, raise him up to hell with him. Come on, once more. And what does he take us for? Come on. Don't let him go. Don't move. Hold him tight. Let him go. Don't move. Now you can let him go. Forward! Stop! Back!
He can walk. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. And let me, uh, let me wish you, wish you. What have I done with my watch? A genuine half hunter, gentlemen. A deadbeat escapement. It was my grandpa gave it me. Perhaps I dropped it. Now, isn't that just. Perhaps it's in your fob. Wait. I hear nothing. Come and have a listen. Surely one should hear the tick, tick. Silence. I hear something. Where? It's the heart. Damnation. Silence. Perhaps it's stopped. Which one of you smells so bad? I hear stinking breath and I've stinking feet. <sighs> yeah, I must go. And you're half hunter. I must have left it at the manor. On the Steinway. Then adieu. 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 And thank you. Thank you. Not at all. Yes, yes. No, no. Yes, yes. No, no. I don't seem to be able to depart. Huh? Such is life. You're going the wrong way. I need a running start. Stand back. Um. On. On. Faster. 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 Back. Stool. 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 On. 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 Adieu. 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 That passed the time. It would have passed in any case. Yes, but not so rapidly. What do we do now? I don't know. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Goddard. Oh, yes. Oh, they've changed. Who? Those two. That's the idea. Let's make a little conversation. Haven't they? What? Changed. Very likely. They all change, only we can't. Likely? It's certain. Didn't you see them? I suppose I did, but I don't know them. Yes, you do know them. No, I don't know them. We know them, I tell you. You forget everything. Unless they're not the same. Why didn't they recognize us, then? That means nothing. I, too, pretended not to recognize them. And then nobody ever recognizes us. Oh, forget it. What we need... Oh! Oh! Unless they're not the same. Idiots, the other foot! Unless they're not the same. Off we go again. Approach, my child. Mr. Albert? Yes? What do you want? Approach. Approach when you're told, can't you? What is it? Mr. Goddard. Obviously. Approach. Will you approach? What kept you so late? You have a message from Mr. Goddo. Yes, sir. Well, what is it? What kept you so late? Let him alone. You let me alone. Do you know what time it is? It's not my fault, sir. Now, whose is it? Mine? I, I was afraid, sir. Afraid of what? Of us? Answer me! I know what it is. He was afraid of the others. How long have you been here? A good while, sir. You were afraid of the whip? Yes, sir. The roars? Yes, sir. The two big men? Yes, sir. Do you know them? No, sir. Are you a native of these parts? Do you belong to these parts? Yes, sir. 
It's all a pack of lies. Tell us the truth! But it is the truth, sir. Will you let him alone? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? I'm unhappy. Not really. Since when? I'd forgotten. Extraordinary the tricks that memory plays. Well? Mr. Goddard. I've seen you before, haven't I? I don't know, sir. You don't know me? No, sir. It wasn't you came yesterday? No, sir. This is your first time? Yes, sir. What? What? Speak. Mr. Gatto told me to tell you he won't come this evening, but surely tomorrow. Is that all? Yes, sir. You work for Mr. Gatto? Yes, sir. What do you do? I mind the goat, sir. Is he good to you? Yes, sir. He doesn't beat you? No, sir. Not me. Whom does he beat? He beats my brother, sir. Ah, oh, you have a brother. Yes, sir. What does he do? He minds the sheep, sir. And why doesn't he beat you? I don't know, sir. He must be fond of you. I don't know, sir. Does he give you enough to eat? Does he feed you well? Fairly well, sir. You're not unhappy. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Well? I don't know, sir. You don't know if you're unhappy or not? No, sir. You're as bad as myself. Where do you sleep? In the loft, sir. With your brother? Yes, sir. In the hay? Yes, sir. All right. You may go. What am I to tell Mr. Goddard, sir? Tell him. Tell him you saw us. You did see us, didn't you? At last. <sighs> what are you doing? For weariness. Eh? Of climbing heaven and gazing on the likes of us. Your boots. What are you doing with your boots? I'm leaving them there. Another will come just as, as me, but with smaller feet, and they'll make him happy. But you can't go barefoot. And Christ did. Christ? What's Christ got to do with it? You're not going to compare yourself to Christ. All my life I've compared myself to him. But where he lived, it was warm. It was dry. Yes, and they crucified quick. We've nothing more to do here. Uh, there anywhere else? Ah, go, go. Don't go on like that. Tomorrow everything will be better. How do you make that out? Did you not hear what the child said? No. He said that Godot was sure to come tomorrow. Now, what do you say to that? Well, all we have to do is wait on here. Are you mad? We must take cover. Come on. It's a pity. 
pity we haven't got a bit of rope. Come on, it's cold. Remind me to bring a bit of rope tomorrow. Yes, come on. How long have we been together all this time now? I don't know. Fifty years, perhaps. Do you remember the day I threw myself into the Rhone? We were grape harvesting. You fished me out. Uh, that's all dead and buried. My clothes dried in the sun. There's no good harking back on that now. Come on. Wait. I'm cold. Wait. I sometimes wonder if we wouldn't be better off alone. Each one to himself. We weren't made for the same road. It's not certain. No. Nothing is certain. We can still part, if you think it would be better. It's not worthwhile now. No. It's not worthwhile now. Well, shall we go? Yes. Let's go. A dog came in. <coughs> a dog came in the kitchen and stole a crust of bread. Then cooked up with a ladle and beat him till he was dead. Then all the dogs came running and dug the dog a tomb. Then all the dogs came running and dug the dog a tomb and wrote upon the tombstone for the eyes of dogs to come. A dog came in the kitchen and stole a crust of bread, then cooked up with the ladle and beat him till he was dead. Then all the dogs came running and dug the dog a tomb. Then all the dogs came running and dug the dog a tomb. And dug the dog. A tomb. You again. Come here till I embrace you. Don't touch me. Do you want me to go away? Go, go. Did they beat you? Go, go. Where did you spend the night? Don't touch me. Don't question me. Don't speak to me. Stay with me. Did I ever leave you? You let me go. Look at me. Will you look at me? What a day. Who beat you? Tell me. Another day done with. Mm, not yet. For me, it's over and done with, no matter what happens. I heard you singing. That's right, I remember. That finished me. I said to myself, he's all alone. He thinks I'm gone forever, and he sings. One is not master of one's moods. All day I felt in great form. I didn't get up in the night. Not once. You see, you even piss better when I'm not there. I missed you. And at the same time, I was happy. Isn't that a queer thing? Happy. Uh, perhaps it's not quite the right word. And now? And now, there you are again. There we are again. There I am again. You see, you feel worse when I'm with you. 
I feel better along too. Then why do you always come crawling back? Oh, I don't know. No, but I do. It's because you don't know how to defend yourself. I wouldn't have let them beat you. You couldn't stop them. Why not? There was ten of them. No, I mean before they beat you. I would have stopped you from doing whatever it was you were doing. I wasn't doing anything. Then why did they beat you? I don't know. Ah, no, go, go. The truth is, there are things escape you that don't escape me. You must feel it yourself. I wasn't doing anything. Well, perhaps you weren't. But it's the way of doing it that counts. The way of doing it, if you want to go on living. But enough about that. There you are back, and there I am happy. I wasn't doing anything. You must be happy too, deep down, if you only knew it. Happy about what? To be back with me again. Would you say so? I say you are, even if it's not true. And what am I to say? Say, I am happy. I am happy. So am I. So am I. We are happy. We are happy. Well, what do we do now? Now that we're happy. Wait for God. Oh, yes. Things have changed here since yesterday. And if he doesn't come? Oh, we'll see when the time comes. I was saying that things have changed here since yesterday. Everything oozes. Look at the tree. Never the same pus from one second to the next. The tree. Look at the tree. And was it not there yesterday? Yes, of course it was there yesterday. Do you not remember? We all but hanged ourselves from it. That's right. All but hanged ourselves from it. But you wouldn't. Do you not remember? You dreamt it. Is it possible you've forgotten already? Well, that's the way I am. Either I forget immediately or I never forget. And Pozzo and Lucky, have you forgotten them too? Pozzo and Lucky? Oh, he's forgotten everything. I remember a lunatic who kicked the shins off me, then he played the fool. That was Lucky. I remember that, but when was it? And his keeper, do you not remember him? He gave me a bone. That was Pozzo. And all that was yesterday, you say? Yes, of course it was yesterday. And here, where we are now? Well, where else do you think? Do you not recognize the place? Recognize? What is there to recognize? All my lousy life I've crawled about in the mud and you talk to me about scenery? Look at this muck heap! I've never stirred from it. Calm yourself, calm yourself. You and your landscapes. Tell me about the worms. All the same, you can't tell me that this bears any resemblance to... to the Macon country, for example. You can't deny there's a big difference. The Macon country? Who's talking to you about the Macon country? But you were there yourself in the Macon country. No, I was never in the Macon country. I puked my puke of the life away here. Here, I tell you, in the Cacon country. But we were there together, I could swear to it. Picking grapes for a man called... Oh, can't think of the name of the man. And a place called... Can't think of the name of the place. Do you not remember? It's possible. I didn't notice anything. But down there, everything is red. I didn't notice anything, I tell you. You're a hard man to get on, my go-go. It'd be better if we parted. Yeah, you always said that. And you always come crawling back. The best thing would be to kill me like the other. What other? What other? Like... Billions of others. To every man his little cross. Until he dies. And is forgotten. In the meantime, let us try and converse calmly, since we're incapable of keeping silent. You're right. We're inexhaustible. It's so we won't think. We have that excuse. It's so we won't hear. We have our reasons. All the dead voices. They make a noise like wings. Like leaves. Like sand. Like leaves. They all speak together. Each one to itself. Brother, they whisper. They rustle. They murmur. They rustle. What do they say? They talk about their lives. To have lived is not enough for them. They have to talk about it. To be dead is not enough for them. It is not sufficient. They make a noise like feathers. Like leaves. Like ashes. Like leaves. Say something. I'm seeking. Or say anything at all.
What do we do now? Wait for Gatto. Oh, yes. This is awful. Sing something. No, no. We could start all over again, perhaps. That should be easy. It's the start that's difficult. But you can start from anything. Yes, but you have to decide. Mm, true. Help me. I'm seeking. When you seek, you hear. You do. That prevents you from finding. It does. That prevents you from thinking. But you think all the same. No, no, impossible. That's the idea. Let's contradict each other. Impossible. You think so? We're in no danger of ever thinking anymore. Then what are we complaining about? Well, thinking is not the worst. Perhaps not, but at least there's that. That what? That's the idea. Let's ask each other questions. What do you mean, at least there's that? That much less misery. True. Well, if we gave thanks for our mercies. What is terrible is to have thought. But does that ever happen to us? Where are all these corpses from? These skeletons. Tell me that. True. Well, we must have thought a little. At the very beginning. That charnel house. That charnel house. You don't have to look. No, you can't help looking. True. Try as one may. I beg your pardon? Try as one may. We should turn resolutely towards nature. We've tried that. Mm, true. Oh, it's not the worst, I know. What? To have thought. Obviously. We could have done without it. Que voulez-vous? I beg your pardon? Que voulez-vous? Ah, que voulez-vous? Exactly. <sighs> that wasn't such a bad little canter. Yes, but now we'll have to find something else. Let me see. 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 Ah, well, what was I saying? We could go on from there. What were you saying when? At the very beginning. The very beginning of what? This evening. I was saying... I was saying... I'm not a historian. Wait. We embraced. We were happy. Happy? What do we do now that we're happy? Go on waiting. Waiting. Let me think it's coming. Go on waiting now that we're happy. Let me see. Ah, the tree. The tree. Do you not remember? I'm tired. Look at it. I see nothing. But yesterday evening was all pale and bare like a skeleton, and now it's covered with leaves. Leaves? In a single night. Must be the spring. But in a single night. We weren't here yesterday, I tell you. Another of your nightmares. And where were we yesterday evening, according to you? How do I know? In another compartment. There's no lack of void. Good. We weren't here yesterday evening. Now, what did we do yesterday evening? Do? Try and remember. Do? I suppose we blathered. About what? Oh, this and that. Nothing in particular. Oh, yes, now I remember. Yesterday evening, we spent blathering about nothing in particular. That's been going on now for half a century. You don't remember any fact, any circumstance. Don't torment me, Dee The sun, the moon, do you not remember? Oh, they must have been there as usual. You didn't notice anything out of the ordinary? Alas. And Pozzo? And Lucky? Pozzo? The bombs. They were like fish bones. It was Pozzo gave them to you. I don't know. And the kick. That's right, somebody gave me a kick. It was Lucky gave it to you. And all that was yesterday. Show your leg. Which? Both. Pull up your trousers. <laughs> Pull up your trousers. I can't! The other. The other pig. There. There's the wound beginning to fester. Oh! And what of it? Where are your boots? I must have thrown them away. When? I don't know. Why? I don't know why I don't know. No, I mean, why did you throw them away? Because they were hurting me. There. There they are, at the very spot where you left them yesterday. They're not mine. Not yours? Mine were black. These are brown. Are you sure yours were black? Well, they were a kind of grey. And these are brown? Sure. And they were a kind of green. Sure. Well, of all... You see? Oh, that's a lot ah, of I see what it is. Yes, I see oh, what's Oh, that's a lot it's of It's elementary. Blood. Someone came and took yours and left you his. Why? His were too tight for him, so he took yours. But mine were too tight. For you, not for him. Oh, I'm tired. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Godot. Oh, yes. What did we do? What did we do? There's nothing we can do. I can't go on like this. Would you like a radish? Is that all there is? There are radishes and turnips. Is there no carrots? No. Anyway, you overdo it with your carrots. Give me a radish. It's black. It's a radish. I only like the pink ones. You know that. 
Then you don't want it. I only like the pink ones. Then give it back to me. I'll go and get a carrot. This is becoming really insignificant. <laughs> Not enough. What about trying them? I've tried everything. No, I mean the boots. Would that be a good thing? It'll pass the time. I assure you, it'll be an occupation. A relaxation. A recreation. A relaxation. Try. You'll help me. I will, of course. Hmm. Don't we don't manage too badly, eh, Dee Dee? Between the two of us? Yes, yes. Come on, we try the left first. We always find something, eh, Dee Dee? To give us the impression that we exist. Yes, yes. We're magicians. But let us persevere in what we have resolved before we forget. <clears throat> Come on, give me your foot. The other hog. Higher. Try and walk. Well, it fits. We're trying laces. No, no, no laces. No laces. You'll be sorry. Let's try the other. Fits too. They don't hurt you. Not yet. Then you can keep them. They're too big. Perhaps you'll have socks someday. Oh, true. Then you'll keep them. Oh, that's enough about these boots. Yes. But... Enough! I suppose I may as well sit down. That's where you were sitting yesterday evening. Oh, if only I could sleep. Yesterday you slept. I'll try. Wait. Bye, 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 bye. Not so loud. Bye, 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 bye. He's there. Don't be afraid. Oh. There, there. It's all over. I was falling. It's all over. It's all over. I was on top. Don't tell me. Come, we'll walk it off. Bum, bum, ba dum, bum, ba dum. Oh, that's so much. I'm tired. You'd rather be stuck there doing nothing? Yes. Please yourself. Let's go. Can't. Why not? We're waiting for God. Oh, yes. Can you not stay still? I'm cold. We came too soon. It's always at nightfall. Night doesn't fall. It'll fall all of a sudden, like yesterday. Then it'll be night, and we can go. Then it'll be day again. What will we do? What will we do? Will you stop whining? I've had about my belly full of your lamentations. I'm going. Well. Farewell. Look, he's hot. I've been here an hour. I never saw it. Fine. You'll never see me again. I knew we were at the right place. Now our troubles are over. Must have been a very fine hat. Here. What? Hold on.
How does it fit me? How would I know? No, I mean, how do I look in it? Hideous. Yes, but not more so than usual. Yeah, neither more nor less. Then I can keep it. Mine irked me. How shall I say? It itched me. <laughs> I'm going. Will you not play? Play it what? We can play Putzo and Lucky. Never heard of it. I'll do Lucky. You do Putzo. Go on. What am I to do? Curse me. Naughty. Stronger. God the caucus. Spiral keys. Tell me to think. What? Say think pig. Think pig. I can't. That's enough of that. Tell me to dance. Dance, hog. I'm going. I can't. Go, go. There you are again at last. I'm accursed. Where were you? I thought you were gone forever. At the foot of the rise. They're coming. Who? I don't know. How many? I don't know. It's Godo. At last, Gogo. It's Godo. We're saved. Let's go and meet him. Gogo, come back. There you are again, again. I'm in hell. Where were you? At the foot of the rise. No doubt we're on a plateau. Served up on a plateau. They're coming there, too. We're surrounded. Imbecile. There's no way out there. There. Not a soul in sight. Off you go, quick. You won't? Well, I can understand that. Wait till I see. Your only hope left is to disappear. Where? Behind the tree. Quick, behind the tree! Decidedly, this tree will not have been of the slightest use to us. I lost my head. Forgive me. It won't happen again. Tell me what to do. There's nothing to do. You stand there and watch out. Don't move. Back to back, like, like in, in the good old days. days. Do you see anything coming? What? Do you see anything coming? No! Nor I. You must have had a vision. What? You must have had a vision! There's no need to shout. Do you? you? Oh, pardon. Oh, carry on. No, no, after you. Oh, you force it. I interrupted you. On the contrary. Ceremonious ape. Punctilious pig. Finish your phrase, I tell you. Finish your own. Moron. That's the idea. Let's abuse each other. Moron. Vermin. Abortion. Morpian. Surat. Curus. Cretin. Critic. Now let's make up. Gogo. Didi. Your hand. Take it. Come to my arms. Your arms. My breast. Off we go. How time flies when one has fun. Well, what will we do now? While waiting. While waiting. We could do our exercises. Our movements. Our elevations. Our relaxations. Our elongations. Our relaxations. To warm us up. To calm us down. Off we go. Oh, that's enough, I'm tired. Yeah, we're not in form. What about a little deep breathing? I'm tired breathing. Yeah, you're right. Let's just do the tree for the balance. The tree? Your turn. Do you think God sees me? You must close your eyes. God have pity on me. And me? On me, on me! Pity on me! What is it? Who is it? <laughs> is it Godot? At last. <laughs> 
Reinforcements at last. Help. Is it Gotham? We were beginning to weaken. Now we're sure to see the evening out. Help. We are no longer alone. Waiting for the night. Waiting for Gotham. Waiting for... Waiting. All evening we have struggled unassisted. Now it's over. It's already tomorrow. Help. Time flows again already. The sun will set. The moon will rise. And we away from here. Pretty. Poor Potso. I knew it was him. Who? Gado. But it's not Gado. It's not Gado. It's not Gado. Who is it? It's Potso. Here. Here. Help me up. He can't get up. Let's go. We can't. Why not? We're waiting for Gado. Oh, yes. Perhaps he's another bone for you. Bone? Chicken. Do you not remember? It was him. Yes. Ask. Perhaps we should help him first. To do what? To get up. He can't get up. He wants to get up. Let him get up. He can't. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> We should ask him for the bone first. Then if he refuses, we leave him there. You mean we have him at our mercy? Yes. And that we should subordinate our good officers to certain conditions? What? That seems intelligent, all right. But there's one thing I'm afraid of. What? That Lucky might get going all of a sudden. Then we'd be bollocksed. Lucky? He's the one who went for you yesterday. I tell you, there was ten of them. No, before that, the one that kicked you. Oh, see, there. As large as life. For the moment, he is inert. But he might run amok any minute. Help! Suppose we gave him a good beating, the two of us. You mean if we fell on him in his sleep? Yes. That seems a good idea, all right. But could we do it? Is he really asleep? No. The best would be to take advantage of Pozzo's calling for help in anticipation of some tangible return. But suppose... Let us not waste our time in idle discourse. Let us do something while we have the chance. It's not every day that we are needed. Not indeed that we personally are needed. Others would need the case equally well, if not better. To all mankind they were addressed, those cries for help still ringing in our ears. But at this place, at this moment of time, all mankind is us. No. Whether we like it or not. Let us make the most of it before it's too late. Let us represent worthily for once a foul brood to which a cruel fate consigned us. What do you say? It is true that when with folded arms we weigh the pros and cons, we are no less a credit to our species. The tiger bounds to the help of his congeners without the least reflection. Or else he slinks away into the depths of the thickets. But that is not the question. What are we doing here? That is the question. And we are blessed in this, that we happen to know the answer. Yes, in this immense confusion, one thing alone is clear. We are waiting for Godo to come. Oh, yes. Or for night to fall. We have kept our appointment, and that's an end to that. We are not saints, but we have kept our appointment. How many people can boast as much? Billions. You think so? I don't know. You may be right. Well... All I know is that the hours are long under these conditions, and constrain us to beguile them with proceedings which... How shall I say? Which may at first sight seem reasonable until they become a habit. You may say it is to prevent our reason from foundering, no doubt. But has it not long been straying in the night without end of the abyssal depths? That's what I sometimes wonder. You follow my reasoning? We are all born mad. Some remain so. Help! I'll pay you. How much? A pound. It's not enough. I wouldn't go so far as that. You think it's enough? No, I mean so far as to assert that I was weak in the head when I came into the world. But that is not the question. Two pounds. We wait, we are bored. No, don't protest. We're bored to death. There's no denying it. Good. A diversion comes along, and what do we do? We let it go to waste. Come, let's get to work. In an instant, all will vanish. And we'll be alone once more in the midst of nothingness. Two pounds! We're coming! What's the matter with y'all? Help! I'm going. Don't leave me. Where am I? Go, go. Help! Help! I'm going. Help me up first, then we go together. You promise? I swear it. And we'll never come back here again. Never. We'll go to the Pyrenees? Wherever you like. Oh, I've always wanted to wander in the Pyrenees. You'll wander in them. Who farted? Potsam. Here, here, pretty. It's revolting. <laughs> Quick, give me your hand. I'm going. I'm going. Well, 
I suppose at the end I'll get up by myself. <laughs> in the fullness of time. What's the matter with you? Go to hell. Are you going to stay there? For the time being. Ah, come on, Deedy, get up. You'll catch a chill. Oh, don't worry about me. Come on, Deedy, don't be pig-headed. Up. <laughs> Pull. We've arrived. Who are you? We are men. Oh, sweet Mother Earth. Can you get up? I don't know. Try. Not now. Not now. What happened? Will you stop it, you pest? He thinks of nothing but himself. What about a little snooze? Do you hear him? He wants to know what happened. Don't mind him. Sleep. Pity. What? Pity. What is it? It's this bastard pops away at it again. Well, make him stop it. Give him a kick in the crotch. Will you stop it? Crab louse. <laughs> <coughs> Lucky! He's up. Lucky! He's down. Well, what'll we do now? Perhaps I could call to him. Oh, yeah, call to him. Potso! Potso! Together. Potso! Potso! We could try him with other names. It'd be amusing. What'd be amusing? To try him with other names, one after the other. It'd pass the time, and we'd be bound to hitting the right name sooner or later. I tell you, his name is Potso. We'll soon see. Abel! Abel! Help! Oh, got it in one. I begin to weary of this motif. Perhaps the other is called Cain. Cain! Cain! Help! He's all humanity. Ah, look at the little cloud. Where? There in the zenith. Well, what is there so wonderful about it? <sighs> Let's pass on now to something else, do you mind? I was just going to suggest it. But to what? Ah. Suppose we got up to begin with. No harm in trying. <laughs> <sighs> Child's play. Simple question of willpower. And now, no. let's go. We can't. We're not. We're waiting for Goddle. Oh, yes. What'll we do? What'll we do? No. What about helping him? What does he want? He wants to get up. Why doesn't he? He wants us to help him to get up. And why don't we? What are we waiting for? Doing it on purpose. We must hold him. <sighs> Feeling better? Who are you? Do you not recognize us? I am blind. Blind? Perhaps he can see into the future. Blind? Since when? I used to have wonderful sight. Expand, expand! Let him alone. Can't you see he's thinking of the days when he was happy? Memoria preteritorum bonorum. That must be unpleasant. Quite wonderful. And it came on you all of a sudden? I woke up one fine day as blind as fortune. Sometimes I wonder if I'm not still asleep. And when was that? I don't know. But no later than yesterday. Don't question me. The blind have no notion of time. The things of time are hidden from them, too. Well, just fancy that. I could have sworn it was just the opposite. Where is my menial? Oh, he's about somewhere. Why doesn't he answer when I call? I don't know. He seems to be sleeping. Perhaps he's dead. Go and see, is he hurt? We can't leave you. You needn't both go. You go. Me? After what he did to me? Never. Yes, yes, let your friend go. He stinks so. 
<laughs> What's he waiting for? What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for Gotham. What exactly should he do? Well, to begin with, he should pull on the rope as hard as he likes, as long as he doesn't strangle him. He usually responds to that. If not, they should give him a taste of the boot. And the face and the privates as far as possible. You see, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's even an opportunity to revenge yourself. But if he defends himself... Oh, no. He never defends himself. I'll come flying to the rescue. Don't take your eyes off me. Make sure he's alive before you start. No point in exerting yourself if he's dead. He's breathing. Then let him have it. Oh! Oh! The brave! What's gone wrong now? Our friend has hurt himself. And lucky. So it is he. What? It is lucky. I don't understand. And you are Pozzo. Certainly. I am Pozzo. The same as yesterday. Yesterday? We met yesterday. Do you not remember? I don't remember having met anyone. Yesterday. But tomorrow I won't remember having met anyone today. So don't count on me to enlighten you. What? Enough! Up, pig! You are bringing him to the fair to sell him. You spoke to us. He danced. He thought. You had your sight. As you please. Let me go. Up! He's getting up. He'd better. Picking up his bags. Now he's all set. Whip. Where do you go from here? None of my business. How changed you are. Whip. What is there in the bag? Sand. On. Don't go yet. I'm going. What do you do when you fall far from help? We wait till we can get up. Then we go on. On. Before you go, get him to sing. Who? Lucky. To sing? Yes. Or to think. Or to recite. But he is dumb. Dumb? Dumb. He can't even groan. Dumb? Since when? Have you not done tormenting me with your accursed time? It's abominable. When? When? One day. Is that not enough for you? One day, like any other day. One day he went dumb. One day I went blind. One day we'll go deaf. One day we were born. One day we shall die. The same day. The same second. Is that not enough for you? They give birth. A stride of a grave. The light gleams an instant. Then it's night once more. On.
<laughs> Why will you never let me sleep? I felt lonely. I was dreaming I was happy. That passed the time. I was dreaming. Don't tell me! I wonder, is he really blind? Blind? Who? Would one truly blind say he had no notion of time? What who? Pozzo. He's blind? So he said. You dreamt it. It seemed to me he saw us. Let's go. We can't... Oh, yes. Are you sure it wasn't him? Who? Godo. But who? Pozzo. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. I suppose I may as well get up. Oh! Oh! I don't know what to think anymore. Dede, me feet. Help me. Was I sleeping while the others suffered? Am I sleeping now? Tomorrow when I wake, I think I do. What shall I say of today? That with Estragon, my friend, at this place until the fall of night, I waited for Gatto? That Pozzo passed with his carrier and that he spoke to us? Probably. But in all that, what truth will there be? He'll know nothing. He'll tell me about the blows he received, and I'll give him a carrot. A stride of a grave and a difficult birth. Down in the hole, lingeringly, the gravedigger puts on the forceps. We have time to grow old. The air is full of our cries. But habit is a great deadener. At me, too, someone is looking. Of me, too, someone is saying he is sleeping. He knows nothing. Let him sleep on. I can't go on. Mr. Albert? Off we go again. Do you not recognize me? No, sir. It wasn't you came yesterday? No, sir. This is your first time? Yes, sir. You have a message from Mr. Goddard? Yes, sir. He won't come this evening? No, sir. But he'll come tomorrow? Yes, sir. Without fail? Yes, sir. Did you meet anyone? No, sir. Two other men? I didn't see anyone, sir. What does he do, Mr. Goro? Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Well? He does nothing, sir. How's your brother? He's sick, sir. Perhaps it was he came yesterday. I don't know, sir. I see a beard. Mr. Goddo? Yes, sir. Fair? Or black? Or... Or red? I think it's white, sir. Christ have mercy on us. What am I to tell Mr. Goddo, sir? 
Tell him, tell him you saw me and that, that you saw me. You sure you saw me? You won't come and tell me tomorrow that you never saw me. What's wrong with you? Nothing. I'm going. So am I. Was I long asleep? I don't know. Where shall we go? Not far. Oh, yes. Let's go far away from here. We can't. Why not? We have to come back tomorrow. What for? To wait for Godot. Oh, yes. He didn't come? No. Now it's too late? Yes. Now it's night. And if we dropped them... If we dropped them... He'd punish us. Everything's dead but the tree. What is it? It's the tree. But what kind? I don't know. A willow. Let's go. Why don't we hang ourselves? With what? You haven't got a bit of rope. No. Then we can't. Let's go. Oh, wait. There's me belt. It's too short. You could always hang on to me legs. And who'd hang on to mine? Uh, true. Sure, all the same. Might do it a pinch, but is it strong enough? We'll soon see. <sighs> Not worth a curse. You say we have to come back tomorrow? Yes. Then remind me to bring a good bit of rope. Yes. Dee Dee. Yes. I can't go on like this. That's what you think. If we parted, it might be better for us. We'll hang ourselves tomorrow. Unless Godot comes. And if he comes? We'll be saved. Well, shall we go? Pull on your trousers. What? Pull on your trousers. You want me to pull off my trousers? Pull on your trousers. Oh, yes! Well? Shall we go? Yes. Let's go.